Hey there, what's going on guys? Today let's check out 20 village seeds for Minecraft 1.16 on Minecraft Java Edition. I recorded this video in Minecraft 1.16.5. These seeds will not work for Minecraft Bedrock Edition and are only for Minecraft Java Edition. All coordinates for locations shown in this video will be in a link in my description in one easy place on a blog post for you. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and start off with this seed that I found on Reddit posted by Plebeian. In this seed, we spawn on an island village. Around the island, you can find four different buried treasure chests. On the screen now is the coordinates to all four of the chest locations. This is all of the loot I got from both the village and all of the chest locations combined. Now let's check out this seed that has a taiga village right at spawn. When you see grindstones outside of a building inside of a village like this one, it means that it's a blacksmith village which usually has some pretty solid loot. Inside of this one, I found some iron gear which is awesome to start off this world. There's also a ruined portal nearby. It's a super convenient spot for you to make a nether portal when you get the rest of the obsidian to do so. In the next seed, I spawned into the world inside of this ice building, which obviously means we have a snow village. That means we've got wood buildings inside of this village, snow buildings, and of course, ice buildings. This village generates right between an ice spikes biome and mountains. If you're looking for a snowy biome spawn seed, this is a great option for a spawn point in my opinion. Now let's check out this seed that has a plains village right at the spawn location. Inside of the village, there are two tannery buildings right across from each other, with one having this loot and the other having this loot. And there's also a blacksmith building with this loot. In the distance of the plains spawn, you can see some mountains and there's a flower forest nearby. I think the spawn of this seed is a fantastic building location. Now we have this seed with a zombie savanna village. Of course, zombie villages have destroyed buildings covered with cobwebs, and the villagers are replaced with zombie villagers. This zombie village also happens to be a blacksmith village. Here is the loot I found inside of the blacksmith. Here we have this seed with a jungle biome spawn location. Right on the other side of the spawn lake to the northeast, you can find a desert village. The village sits in a small piece of desert biome. It stretches into the jungle biome. Of course, there are no jungle villages in Minecraft, so this is about as close as you can get to finding one. As you probably noticed, there is also a mesa biome right next to the village. I'm always happy to find a mesa this close to the spawn of the seed. Another location on the edge of the mesa is this desert temple. This is another location that generates in a small portion of a desert biome. Here is some of the loot that I found inside of this desert temple. Now we have a seed with a ruined portal in Savannah Village right ahead of spawn. With breaking and reorganizing blocks, you can get a full working nether portal at this ruined portal. Here is the loot that was in the chest at the portal. The Savannah Village is a pretty decent size. There are plenty of buildings to explore and loot. That includes this blacksmith village, of which I found this loot inside. I also want to point out that the village generates on a ravine. And this piece of farm down here looks pretty funny. Finally, to the west of the village, there is a desert temple. The temple sits fully above ground. Here is some of the loot that I found inside of the temple. Next up, we have another seed that was posted to Reddit. This one was posted by Minty Mouse. It features a plains village that stretches into a mushroom island biome. The village has 12 buildings within it. Of course, mushroom fields biomes are quite rare, especially spawning near one. I wonder how rare it actually is to have a village generate inside of one too, if that's even possible to calculate. In this seed, we have another zombie village. This one happens to be a desert village. Some of this village actually generates inside of a flower forest biome too. Across the lake, you can see a larger portion of the flower forest. Next to the zombie village, you can find a desert temple. If it had cobwebs, it would really fit in with the village. Here is the loot that I found inside of this desert temple. 
Here we have a seed that has a really small village. It does have 8 buildings to check out, but the overall size of the village is super compact. I wanted to share this village because of the location of it. It sits surrounded by mountains on three sides of it. I really do think this is an awesome place to build. I can picture some really awesome spawn cities in this location, utilizing the natural terrain. Getting into the final 10 seeds, we have this seed that has a village just to the northwest of spawn. This is a spruce village that actually is in three different biome types. Of course, it's in the taiga biome, a small piece is in the desert, and the majority of it is in the jungle. Every building in this village except for one is inside of the jungle, which is pretty awesome. Inside of this blacksmith building, I found this loot. Next to this jungle, you can find a mesa biome. As I mentioned earlier in the video, it's always great finding a mesa biome so close to spawn. On the edge of the mesa, you can find the desert temple in a very small piece of desert. Here is the loot I found inside of this temple. Again though, that village inside of the jungle is a really awesome location to find. Next up, let's take a look at the second and final snow village seed that we see in this video. This one also generates right next to an ice spikes biome. But what I really wanted to show though, is that this igloo also generates inside of the village. In fact, it generates with a piece of the village inside of it. A really hilarious piece of Minecraft generation here. In the igloo, there is a ladder that goes underground to a zombie villager transformation dungeon. Now I want to show you this savanna village. The savanna biome sits between a mushroom fields biome and a desert biome. On the other sides of the savanna is ocean biomes. The village certainly has a lot of buildings here to check out and explore. Of course, the mushroom fields biome right next to the spawn is an awesome find. For those looking for a seed with a mushroom island near spawn, this could be the seed for you to check out. Here is a seed that has both a village and a desert temple at spawn. The village itself isn't the most exciting. It has 10 buildings in total, which includes two different church buildings. The desert temple generates partly inside of the plains biome. Here is some of the loot that I found inside of the temple. In this next seed, we have a pretty basic spruce village. The village stretches into a birch forest that is nearby, and the taiga biome is near a mountain too. Nothing overly exciting about this seed spawn here, but sometimes a basic taiga village is just what you want to find. Getting into the final five seeds here, we are seeing a plain zombie village that is just north of where I spawned into this seed. Much of this village stretches into the birch forest that is right next to the plains biome. A zombie village is pretty awesome in itself, but there's also a couple of other locations nearby this seed that makes it even better. You can see a mansion in the distance from the village here. On screen, you can see coordinates to the front entrance of the woodland mansion. For size perspective, the mansion has just two rooms on the top floor. On the middle floor, I found this hidden spider spawner room. Right next to the mansion, there is a taiga village. This village has two blacksmith buildings in it. One blacksmith has this loot, the other blacksmith has this loot. Also, this fern on top of the chest here is pretty funny. So this seed has a lot near spawn with a zombie village, a woodland mansion, and a taiga blacksmith village. In this seed here, we have a spawns plains village. The plains is surrounded by a small forest and a savanna biome. Down at the bottom of this small hill, in a bit of an indent in the land, you can find a blacksmith building. I actually found some pretty decent loot in this one. So this seed gives you a fairly basic plain spawn village. Entering the final three seeds, we have this Desert Temple Village Seed. The Desert Temple is right in the middle of the village. It's also right next to a blacksmith village, which of course has this loot inside of it. Inside of the Desert Temple, you have this building and cactus that generates. It was a pretty interesting thing to walk into when I entered the temple. When you dig down in the temple, you can end up finding this loot inside of it. So this seed gives you an opportunity to get some pretty quick spawn loot. Next up, we have this seed which was posted to Reddit by 6moto. You spawn right near this village which has a ruined portal within it. Inside of the ruined portal chest, I found this loot. The ruined portal is right next to this small ravine. 
a couple of village buildings generate floating on top of that ravine. The village also happens to be a blacksmith village. Of course, you get the blacksmith loot within that building. Around the spawn plains, you have a birch forest, a taiga, and some mountains. I think this is a pretty cool seat here, I must say. Finally, to finish off this video, we have a seed with a village next to a woodland mansion. Inside of the village, you can find this tannery building with this loot, this tannery building with this loot, and finally, you can also find a blacksmith with this loot. This village building generates with the front half of it inside of the mansion. If I go into spectator mode, I can see this portion of the village generating in the cobblestone foundation of the mansion. Like earlier, I've provided you with the coordinates to the front door of this mansion on screen. For size perspective, the top floor of this mansion has 10 rooms, which includes this hidden room with some loot, and this hidden spider spawner room. On the top floor, you can find this room with a chest at the end of it, and it's also where the village building generates into the mansion, so you can break into that building and find a chest too. I also wanted to show that nearby you can find a ruined portal too. It generates going up this hill, which is a pretty cool generation for it. This is the loot that I found in the chest here. So yeah, with a mansion, ruined portal, and village right near spawn, this seed is really incredible if you're looking for some structure generations. Well, there you have 20 village seeds that are working for the 1.16 Java editions of Minecraft. Again, I recorded this video and tested all the seeds in Minecraft 1.16.5. Let me know which one of the seeds in this video is your favorite. Also, in the comments, share any seeds that you think people should check out. Be sure to check out my blog post for all of the coordinates and information about the seeds in this video. If you want to help me out, leave a like on this video. And for more Minecraft videos, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for all of my future videos. Alright guys, that is going to do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out of here. See ya.